While heat may be normal for Las Vegas, the word for it this particular summer was extreme. The heat we experienced, experts say, was beyond normal. Way too hot. Yeah, way, way too, too hot. hot. Our climate reporter Geneva Zoltek has been looking into how our community reacted under the pressure and what the super temperatures meant to our valley. This past summer was dangerous and even deadly to Las Vegans. And now more than ever, community members are looking at how agencies responded to that heat and how it can be improved next time. I met up with Dr. Joanne Leovi. I've lived here about 23 years, and so I can remember that things are really drastically different this year. Hottest on record. When asked what day stood out this summer, July 7th, when Las Vegas hit an all-time record high temp. I was here on that day where we hit 120 degrees, and it was honestly scary even to me to, to see that it was that hot. And not only that day, but we had that stretch in July. June and July were the hottest ever recorded, and August made the top 10. The National Weather Service says in any given year, we typically break six to eight daily record highs. This year, we've already broken 27. And of course, we worry about people that don't have the ability to keep themselves cool. Dr. Leo V volunteers for Nevada clinicians for climate action action where she's involved with the newly launched heat lab a group I told you about in early June the experience of heat is kind of different from what the official measure it encapsulates all things heat in southern Nevada and before this year no such entity existed Ariel Chenard is the lead just because you know it's only 99 official measure doesn't mean that you can't go outside into certain environments and end up sick. Dangerous and deadly. 402 fatalities linked to heat so far this year. Children, the elderly, those with underlying medical conditions, and outdoor workers are some of the most at risk. Just covering my face, covering my skin, you know, because the most important part of is protecting your neck. Drink a lot of water, a lot of electrolytes. And I mean, that's how you can deal with the 116. We think we're used to the heat. And with climate change looming and warming temperatures expected to continue, Leovi tells me the community at large needs to improve its heat response. And most doctors weren't trained specifically to talk about heat or recognize the impacts of heat. Dr. Leovi tells me that the heat can cause heart and kidney problems, as well as other serious medical conditions. The good news is Las Vegas likely had its last 100 degree day this year. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Geneva Zoltek.